What is your name, young lady? <laughs> okay, who? Okay, what is your name? Anissa. Oh, that's a nice name. That's my wife's name. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, present perfect and present perfect continuous. That's what we're going to go over today. So, do you know the difference? So 
Deborah. What would that classify as? Has. Excellent. And why why do you use has? Why? Why uh, why has? Because it is a uh, third person. Very good. Third person? Sing. Singular. Excellent. Okay. So now, based on our structure. Man. Okay. And how would you conclude that? Spoiled. Has been spoiled. Mm, okay. Mm, I guess that would work. Okay. Oh. So Deborah has been spoiled. Excellent. So you have the structure. Mm -hmm. So, okay, now. Back to our objective. Present perfect. Present perfect, right? Because we don't have a we don't have an ing right here. Mm -hmm. This is not a verb, right? We did not use a verb. So okay. What are you saying by using present perfect? Three things. Vera is spoiling. No, I'm saying um, no, no, this this one right here. Yeah. So. Remember, when we use it, the definition is that there's three things. There are three things. It started in the past. Okay? There are was a spoil. Right. That's one thing that we're saying. Excellent. She was spoiled. But what else? By saying it this way, she was spoiled, but what else? It started in the past. Very good. That's what you're saying. By by saying that, by saying that, it started in the past, but it continued. Mm -hmm. There is a duration of time. Because the simple past is Deborah was spoiled. Mm -hmm. That's different. That's saying it was and that's all. Mm -hmm. But this, this is saying that she continued to be spoiled. Mm -hmm. Do you think she stopped? No. <laughs> no, okay. Okay. Then. But, um, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, okay, I so she did stop for the moment, mm -hmm. that's exactly mm -hmm. why we use that, she stopped for the moment, it could happen again tomorrow, mm -hmm. but we're saying for the moment, the recent past, it stopped for, for now, very good, okay. So, here we go. No. Uh, I'm going to put it in this. Okay. So, let's make one. Now, don't use has. Don't use third person singular. Make an example, a subject.